Who can tell me about the first game they ever bought or got received? You uh, I, I got an NES and Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt for my fifth, fifth, five year birthday. What does it look like? It came in that big black box, I mean, the game itself. I was like, oh, yeah, because I knew it, knew it beforehand, so I was really excited. I opened the box and I got it, and I was super surprised. And it was super exciting and thrilling, like, like the beginning of a new adventure. That's kind of how I always feel when I open up a game nowadays from, like, the wrapping, because I like the smell and the feel and everything. It's like a, new, a promise of adv an adventure for me. It's an experience. <laughs> Who would like to have people have that kind of experience with their games? Now you're raising your hand. So what's the difference between a game and a product? It's you want people to have that kind of experience. So technically, you are making a product if that experience is included in your game. If we, have, if we look at board games, we have the same thing. All the little pieces, all the little parts. What do I hate most about digital games? Is that experience is gone. That experience is lost in some way. But we can make up for that. We can make games that give us that experience. Who has played Cut the Rope? <laughs> Who thinks that's quite a successful way to replicate Julius' experience? I agree. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. So it's possible. You can do the same thing. You have it in you to recreate that sense of, oh my god, you know, I just downloaded this app. It's amazing. So I want some examples. So everyone's working, who's, who's working on a game project right now? Okay. <clears throat> How, like, are you in the first month? Almost. Okay. When do you have to finish the game? May. May. What is there in May? Nordic. Who's going to Nordic? I just sent an email today to our teachers at school, like, what can we do this year so that we can get uh, some sponsoring for students to go there? What is the goal that you guys set for your game? Anyone? We wanted our game to be kind of a easy or easy to play, so or like uh, quick to get into. So uh, you're talking about the game. What is the goal that you want to achieve through your game? It's going to be hard to play. To Once again, you're talking about the game. What is the goal you want to achieve with your game? Money. Money. <laughs> That's one. You get to uh, you get the tickets to the Nordic. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> we want to make people feel like they, when they destroy, it's like fuck yeah, everything's getting destroyed and shit's like, blowing about up. About the game, who wants to freaking be nominated for an award with their game? Raise your hand. Well, why not? But I... Why not? Yeah, who wants to fucking win money because they they because of their game? Raise your hand. Who wants to get free tickets to conferences because of their game? Raise your hand. That's the kind of goals you need to set. And it's not impossible. If you start with those kind of goals inside your game, your goals will shape your product, will shape your game. I want it to get downloaded 20 fucking times. You design your game around that goal. That means you might have to make it smaller. That means you might have to do it a little bit more, with more polish. That might even mean you have to test it for three fucking months. But set a goal that defines your strategy. Nordic! I want to show my game to the CEO of Red Links. I want to show my game to Ilka Pananen from Supercell and get a job. I want to show my game with my team so we get funding to set a company up within three months after Nordic. And then you start building. No, 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 not even. Then you start doing market research that supports your goals. Then you make a pitch and a prototype that embodies these goals. And then, once people are convinced, and you know for almost all certainty 
that it's working out and you will achieve your goals if you spend the next five months finishing this and polishing it, that's when you start developing. That's when you start doing your shit. That's when you start showing off what kind of a boss you are in art and programming and stuff like that. You know why? Because everything will come together. Everything will work out and be in place because you started out with a vision and that vision is leading you through that churn, through that crunch, through those Swedish lessons, through that fucking math and physics bullshit because you know in the end, you're doing everything to get somewhere. Nordic! And then you won't care about that stuff anymore because you know it serves a purpose. I'm doing this because I want to achieve something.